Hey everyone, Ryan from Insert Frame here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can set up pagination inside of Framer really easily. So here you can see we've got a collection list inside our Framer project. Now, what I'm gonna do is go to superfields.io and we're going to grab this pagination component here. And let's go back to our project and let's just paste that onto our canvas. Now, what I'm gonna do is actually grab this collection list and drag that off our canvas. And then we can use this super fields component to connect that back to our canvas. So let's connect it to our collection list. And you'll see it's already starting to paginate like so. So let's go back to super fields once again. And let's collect the pagination buttons and let's paste that onto our canvas as well. And because I like to keep things numbered, let's add some pagination labels as well. So I'll paste that onto my canvas. And now I can style these however I want. So let's say I wanted this to be a little bit wider. We can set the width of these buttons like so. We could change the font. So let's make this bold. Let's change the color as well to something a little bit lighter. And let's change the styling of our label here as well. So let's make this a little bit smaller, a little bit bolder. Okay, great. So now if I actually preview my site, you will notice it'll automatically paginate to four items. And then when I click on next, it'll go to the next set in that list. Now, if I wanted to change the number of items it shows on each pagination, I can do that here just by changing the number. So if I wanted it to be two, we could set it to be two and you'll notice it'll paginate correctly. Now, I can also change the type of pagination as well. So if I didn't wanna show a previous or next button and if I wanted to say, have a load more button, I could have that here. So when I actually preview this and if I click on next, you'll notice it's just gonna keep loading more as I scroll. And that's how you set up pagination using super fields inside of Framer. I hope this helped and I hope you have a great rest of your Framer day.